So today I'm going to talk about Numbers chapter 22. So the story of Numbers chapter 22 is that there's the people of Moab, and they have heard of the children of Israel and how they go and they wipe out all the people around them. And so they're kind of terrified. They say, we don't want to be taken out by these people. So they, this guy in Balak, takes all the princes of Moab and sends them to Balaam and says, and they say to him, we need you to come and curse the children of Israel because we don't want to get taken over. So Balaam says, give me a minute. I'm going to ask the Lord and see what he says. So the Lord tells them, I've blessed the children of Israel. You can't curse them. Don't go with them. And so Balaam tells them, sorry, I can't go. And they're like, oh, dang. So they go and then they come back later and say, okay, man, we really need you to do this. Like, we... We can't beat the children of Israel. We need you to curse them. So please, please come with us. And so he's like, okay, let, let me let me talk to the Lord again. And the Lord says, you you shouldn't say anything that I don't tell you to say. So in the morning, he gets up and he says, all right, I'm going to go with you guys. But I can't say anything that the Lord doesn't want me to say. And so he gets on his donkey to go. The Lord's not happy that he went because he first told him, you know, don't go. These are my people. Don't do it. And so he sends an angel with a sword to block his path. But Balaam can't see it. His donkey can. And so when the donkey sees the angel, he just falls down. And Balaam is angry. He says, why Why did you fall down? I'm trying to get somewhere. I need you to take me there. Just get up and walk down the path. But the donkey won't do it. So he starts beating him up. And the donkey says to him, says, why are you beating me up? I've been a good donkey, haven't I? And Balaam's like, yeah, you've been a good donkey. Instead of like, oh, my donkey's talking to me. Something must be going on. <laughs> but then his eyes are open and he sees the angel and he knows that if the donkey had gone straight, he would have been killed. The angel would have smitten him with the sword. So he was really angry with his donkey, but it turned out that his donkey was actually saving his life. And what I get from this is that there are details in our lives that can be really frustrating, but they're actually beneficial in our lives. So an example from my life would be when I was on my mission, I got really sick. And so I had to go back home and I was really frustrated. I was like, okay, I'm on this path. I want to keep going down this path, but I can't. What's going on? Why can't I go? This is ridiculous. So... When I got home and they did surgery and found out that it was it was cancer and it was a really good thing that I was home and I got it treated and was able to heal. Um, but I was really, really frustrated with my donkey. Like, why am I not able to go? So in our lives, a lot of the times, the things that are really frustrating are there to help us, even if we can't tell in the moment. A lot of the times we'll be able to gain wisdom as time passes or, or more knowledge and we'll understand why these things were good and why we need to be thankful for them rather than frustrated and angry with them. And so as we encounter these things in our lives, I hope that we'll be able to look past our frustrations and seek for wisdom that we can understand why it's happening. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.